go. If you don't have something back there, put it there. See? You didn't have none of that. Now we do. You just got to put it there. I used a piece of wood and I went from here to there to there, across to there to get the height of that because under that wall it swelled up so bad. If the back, the back one dropped down so far, I couldn't get it up where I wanted it to because that swelled floor. I'm going to chuck a lot of this stuff more of that out, but I wanted to get it this here level with this, this, and this. <coughs> so all you do is take either a chalk line or a string line, run it across there, or you can take a 2 by 4 that will fit in there and lay it on the flat and, and uh, tell, pull that up until it touches. Other than that, we'll frame this thing out. Tomorrow we'll clean this insulation up. Still got to clean up the insulation, re-insulate, and then put my plywood down. We're using 2337 plywood. Framing is just about done. Then we're going to get in here tomorrow and tear out that part and reframe it. Get most of this floor put down tomorrow. That's where we're at. On this wall here, you can also notice that it's flush right here. This floor, so I can't bring my floor in here over to here because this stuff's in the way. So, it's going to go. i got to take it off right to the wall. It's about, I don't know, an inch. Take an inch of it out. So it looks like that. So it looks like this down through there. I have that little ledge. So that little bit right there has got to come out so we have the same ledge all the way down through there. Gives us something to nail our plywood to. All right, we're starting in the bathroom, man. If possible, you always want to remove anything that you can remove. That tub's not coming out. That one big piece is not going to be any room for it. <laughs> but we can handle that. Toilet's coming out. Taking the sink out now. And there's no damn way that sink's coming out of there. Can't get it out. I took all the trim off around it and everything without completely destroying it. Can't happen, so i got to work around it. I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with the sink itself. Just that it would make it a little easier to frame around there. But... This one here is not coming out of there because of the way it's in down here. I mean, it's sealed in. I'd have to tear. I'd have to literally tear the whole back of that cabinet out, the bottom out, to do that. So I'm just gonna tear, start tearing here. Oh, yep, that's what we found underneath the linoleum. So it's been uh, pretty bad for a while. <laughs> okay, so away we go. Turn it up. Even though it all seems a little overwhelming when you come down and find out what the hell you got going on. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all worth it at the end. <coughs> Excuse me again. It's all worth it at the end. Somebody already did some repairs in here and they just made a mess of it. They didn't do a very good job at all. So, notice. It's your tub. You don't have anything under there. The whole corners. Whole corner. We can fix everything. Guarantee it. We'll make it right. Nothing under your wall. We can fix it. Alright, we've got the insulation down. Now we're taking our first sheet of plywood, 23 30 seconds, and we're just going to find the best place for it to break on that floor. It breaks right there, 8 foot long, no cutting. Uh, the next one will go from there that way, fill in the end. Shouldn't be any cutting, and um, that should work out really nice. That's our start. Now, once you got your first sheet of plywood down, I added the, uh, also another piece down there. In between every floor joist, I don't care what way you run your plywood, just take you some short pieces. They don't have to be the full width, and put a couple screws on each side and a couple screws here so that when you put your next sheet down, it goes right beside it. You can put a couple more screws in it, and it'll be solid right there in between every bay. No push up and down or whatever. So easy Billy can do it. Alright Billy. Yes sir. Billy can do it. Okay, in the closet. I couldn't frame under that wall. And I needed framing on both sides, so I just framed through it. Dang. I took my two before and went all the way under and put some screws here. Back 
right here, put some screws here. And that gives me something to screw plywood to when I put it in. What I did here was, because I can't get anything back there, except for my plywood, and we'll go under there a little bit, is I took a 2x4, laid it on the flat, and, and screwed it from this front side right here.